Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Goodness me. So, the alarm's just gone off. There's a tripod. Oh, 4 a.m. I don't know at this stage how well I've slept because even if I slept right through well, it's only been like three and a half hours. So, maybe I'll be a bit better once I'm up. I'm wandering around, but I've got a good spot in mind and fingers crossed for the sunrise. So get a look at this, just before I move on. I'm off through that gate. Look at the amount of signs. We've got no parking, tree felling, no camping, no fires, or no litter, strictly no camping. Uh, don't know what that is. Looks like a bit of a forest operations one. <laughs> High fire risk. <sighs> well, um, I'm all for doing our bit and looking after the land, but that's got to be overkill. Maybe it's because it's 20 past four in the morning. All right, let's crack on. So, we are, very dark, we are about hmm, three minutes till the sunrise itself and I'm hoping that summer is going to happen with that sky because to be honest at the minute, it is not looking great. It's um, looking a little bit snuffed out, there's a little bit of colour right off in the distance just to the right hand side of Great Gable, um, but yeah, it's not looking ideal. However, I think either way, I have got a shot in mind. So we are back in the van with a nice coffee brewing. Um, it was no good. It was uninspiring. The morning light was snuffed out quite quickly. <laughs> um, and I'm quite tired. But all hope is not lost. We have a plan B. And that plan B is a hike. Oh, you beauty. So after my little washed water adventure there this morning, I went back to the van and had a nice little kit for a couple of hours, which goodness me, I needed. And I feel much better now ah, for this hike today. I'm hiking up. It is actually a Wainwright. It's called Buck Barrow and um, it's really small. I'm like halfway up it already. It's only about 45 minutes to get up. So I need to keep my eyes peeled to get some shots. <laughs> um, but we're like on the opposite side of Wastwater from where we were, or, you know, in last week's video, which was last night for me. So it's gonna be a completely different perspective. Um, we're getting little bits of light, you know, now and again, albeit very harsh, but the conditions aren't too bad, you know. And obviously, as you can tell from behind me, the views are stunning. Um, with that being said, I do think they're going to be much better when we get closer to the summit of this little fell because we're going to be able to see back towards, you know, same as last week, Great Gable, Scarfell, Pike. Um, I think there's one spot where we should get a full view over Wastwater as well. So I'm already thinking about panoramas, even though I haven't even seen it yet. But um, I would definitely like to see if I can get 
at least one shot on the way up as well because as I always say, it's not just about the view that we get from the summit. Let's crack on. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but you see, look, we've got this, this little sheep, oh, quite a big sheep actually, he's posing, look, and he keeps changing his pose every now and again, so I was just grabbing some shots of the Olympus actually. I hope you can see in the background we've got a wind rig, which is the larger peak, other side of Wastwater at the top of the screes there. Look, he's off now, it's a good job I got the shot already. And um, I think what I liked was the two sort of rocks down here in the foreground, but look at that big sort of dark cloud above wind rig and off into the distance there. Absolutely wonderful. So uh, quite simple, you know, as soon as I got up, uh, well, mind you, I'm not quite at the top yet, nearly, but as soon as I got up to this sort of like plateau area, um, all these crags and rocks just look so attractive to me as foreground. So I might try my best to still try and uh, make some use out of them, you know, get some use out of them. But yeah, a uh, little bit of a random shot. Uh, oh, a few drops of rain. It's actually quite nice because <laughs> it's really warm. Um, yeah, I'll show you this one now and we'll get up to the top of Book Barrel, see what it's got to offer. Oh, it's looking good though, isn't it? Oh. I said it, didn't I? I think I said it. <laughs> that um, I just had visualizations of doing a panel, at least one panel. And this oh, is the first one. Could be the last one as well, I don't know. But, oh, I think this is gonna be lovely. I love it sometimes when you first sort of arrive on top of a fell or just any photography location, you think, oh, this is the sort of photograph that I wanna get. Usually, you never get it. <laughs> um, but sometimes, like it is today, it works out. And this is pretty much exactly what I had in my mind. Some of these crags down in the foreground, um, some of the bigger fells off in the background, uh, some nice detail in the clouds as well, and a little bit of water, um, which is actually just a bit of a bonus at this stage, really. Because um, I didn't think I was going to see him at all from here. Actually, he did say that in Wainwright's book. You can see a little bit of the southern end of it, the northern end of it. <laughs> Um, but ah, oh, really, really, really nice panel by the looks of it. Um, my type of photograph, I think. No light, <laughs> or you know, no sort of, sort of like direct sunlight. Lovely detail in the clouds. I mean, look at it. You can probably even see it from there. Darker patches, really bright patches looking back over towards Scarfo Pike. Wonderful, and it gives so much variety. Another thing that I like is the bottom of this frame, even as you're looking at it there, the foreground, these crags, you know, the grasses, the little wildflowers, everything has so much texture to it. So when you've got the sky having the same as well, it feels like it kind of balances nicely on the bottom and the top of the image, you know? Absolutely brilliant. So, of course, being a panel, the focal point stays the same. I've just focused on these rocks down here in the foreground at F11, that's fine for me. We will lose a slight bit of focus back off into the background fells, but I don't mind that at all. Um, so it's important that that stays the same. Four shots left to right, and they're at um, 1 80th of a second. F11, like I said, and ISO 64. Brilliant.
Uh, so I think I might have come too far, but you can maybe just see a little bit of washed water of the lake just down in that valley there in the Wasdale Valley. Um, and yeah, I think I mentioned earlier, there's a smaller crag just down here called Pike Crag. And in Wainwright's guide, he says from that position, you get the whole stretch of the lake and that is the view. So that is surely gonna be Panel Central. So I'll take a slow walk down there now. Um, I wanted to say, as always, another huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I really do appreciate their support. If you don't know who Squarespace are, if you've never heard of them, it's an all-in-one platform that you can go on and create your own website. Um, so if you've ever wanted to do that, I would highly recommend Squarespace. I've used them myself for over three years now. I'm a proud user and I couldn't recommend them more if I tried. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, really easy to, to make your own website on their platform. Uh, drag and drop, you can also, it's very customizable. You know, you're gonna get that website exactly how you want it. And for me, I always have to say this, it's fantastic for e-commerce, um, you know, for selling things, for selling my prints, my eBooks, my workshops, my calendars, anything, you know, that is, how I run my business essentially through my Squarespace website so I wouldn't be recommending it <laughs> if I didn't mean it you know um, it's been very good to me great customer service as well just throw that one in there because I have experienced a few small problems and they've been always really quick to reply to me and very very helpful um, so yeah if you want to give them a go go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner get yourself a free trial and if you like it be sure to use the offer code Henry Turner at checkout to get yourself a whopping 10% off your first purchase. Um, so yeah, another big thanks to them. All right, let's go and see what this little vista has to offer. Oh, I don't know. I am not 100% sure about this. Look, beautiful vista. Wainwright was not wrong. We have got the whole stretch of Wastwater, which is England's, England's deepest lake. It is my favorite lake and um, you know what? This panel that I'm doing now, I just feel obliged to do it because I've never seen washed water from this perspective. It's wonderful. We've got the whole stretch of the washed water screes as well, which is where I was yesterday up on Ilgill Head opposite from here. So I feel like I just kind of have to take this photograph almost, you know. Um, so it's, it's again, you know, like a lot of panels that I take up on the fells, it's so simple, left to right, about six shots. It's a little bit longer than the last panel that I got. Um, and we've got a little bit of foreground down here where we are stood. And you know, the clouds are beautiful again. We've got Scarfo Pike off in the background who's shrouded in a lot more cloud, but it's adding so much drama to the photograph, you know. Um, I just feel like at the bottom right of the frame where we've got all these fields, a few little homesteads, farms, dry stumbles. I feel like there's too much of that, maybe. It might be a little bit of an irrelevant section of the photograph, I don't know. Same with any panel, as I always say, you can never really tell until you get it home and it stitches together. Um, I'm shooting at F16, ISO 64, and each shot is at 1 30th of a second. That's just because these rocks are quite close to, to here, uh, quite close to my lens here, compared to the background. I I might do a focus stack as well and then stitch them together because I'm worried. I want the foreground sharp and I really want to make sure the background sharp as well because that is the photograph really, the background. I mean at 35 mil, so it's a fair bit wider than the last panel that I did. But yeah, at the very least, it'll be a nice little memory, I suppose, because this is one heck of a vista, let me tell you that. Um, but that is that. Um, this is going to be the last shot of the day. Thank you so much for your support, for tuning in. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Comment below and please subscribe. All those things really do help me out on YouTube. And um, yeah, I have already found a nice cafe on Google Maps on the way home to sit and have a full English breakfast because I am mad for one and it is going to get inhaled. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this, this last shot. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you on the next adventure. Out.